Well, hello again, traders, and welcome out to your Mavic Currencies tutorial on Interactive Brokers platform. In this video, we'll be spending time on chart settings and customizing it to do your user preference. So uh, first thing first, we need to click on the settings in this top right corner of this chart window and in, and click on uh, the settings uh, option. And this is where we get to play around with a whole lot of options. And you can check and uncheck based on exactly what you want to see on your chart. So you can see there's a whole lot of options available. VWAP on the top on the bar. You can add um, intersection between trading days. You can show some uh, candle outline. And there's so many things that uh, you know some traders pay more attention to than the others. So you can get to check and uncheck and based on that you'll be able to see more of those settings. The second option is the layout there's not a whole lot to change over here, but you can do add some bit in the ask on your Y axis. Um, you can add things on your charts. For example, if you want to see the trades that you made on your charts, uh, it would actually uh, click on my trades ads and, in, and either uh, select triangles or dashes. So this way, your trades will show up on your chart as well. As you scroll down on these options, this is where um, you can you can play around with a lot of different settings. And based on, again, what you like and dislike, you can add things to it. Now let's move on to other options like the chart colors. Uh, this is something that I know some traders like the black background where some traders like the, the, the white background. So this is where you can actually control and change every little aspect of the chart. So we can click on this and say, well, I want a white background here and click OK. And as soon as you apply, you'll notice that right on the background, your chart will change. Same thing, you want to add trend lines. Okay, I want my trend line to be a bright color, so I want to try to add that as a red. Um, so this is where you can actually go on the throughout the list and actually change the colors based on what you like. And once you're done with that, you can click OK. So this is where, uh, based on your preference, we can make a change to your chart. Uh, another thing that uh, you can do, same thing, is you can uh, play around with the studies as well. And we'll actually go through and then see how we can add studies onto your chart. Um, but this is uh, this is where you also have this uh, option qual quote zone, and you can actually add a lot of different options. Um, you can go through and say, well, I want to see at this different price. I want to see the ask size. I'll also sort of things, or for example, position and PNL. I want to know what my cost basis is or what my position is. You can click on that and it will add to your quote zone. So this is again, right now it's highlighting, okay, where, um, you know, this dollar CAD, we're currently long on this position. So it's highlighting where we went long and you can actually see these dashes where some of these entries that took place. So uh, this is uh, this is where we go and get those things set up. You can also configure the font as well uh, by just clicking the same option. Click on configure font. And this is where you can actually customize your font size. So for example, if you're trading on a small screen, you can actually uh, increase uh, the size of this and click OK. And notice that the, the, the size of the chart will actually increase. So it'll be easier to read the numbers, especially if you're trading on a smaller uh, screen. So this is uh, on the left hand side, you'll notice that we have the settings, we got the toolbar. So this is where all these little toolbar options that you can add onto your chart as well. And that will be available to you very uh, in, in this uh, in this quick, uh, quick links over there. Chart colors, we play around with the quote zone. Uh, this is this is an option that you can actually add onto your chart. If you don't, um, there's a there's a quote panel. You can click on it and right there you will have uh, a quote and you will have all this information that you probably want to see. For example, what's the position, what's the change, what's the bid and the ad size. Uh, and based on that, you'll be able to do to make those changes. Uh, also notice that every single window that appears has this little toolbar option. So if you want to make a certain change to that particular window, this is where you come in and you make that change. So it will take you directly into the window when you can add and remove things. So for example, in this case, we don't want to see what the position is, or I don't want to see what the, the bid and the ask size is. So as soon as I click on remove and click OK, you see at the bottom here, I'm able to actually see fewer options. So uh, same thing, if you go into your view uh, option in the chart, plan, uh, in the chart uh, you'll be able to kind of click and uh, go through these options. There's, uh, there's a whole lot of options available. And like I said, every trader um, use a different uh, settings. Uh, for example, in this position indicator, right now there's a custom field, but I don't want to see a custom field. I just want to see a line. You click on that and you click on line. So you see every single little thing 
everything can be customized in this platform. So you just have to spend a little bit more time, play with a little bit more settings in order to get the, the best results. So this is where view, uh, under, under the view, you'll be able to see a lot of different options. You'll be able to add a lot of different studies to your charts. So for example, I want to uh, add a study. So you just right click on the chart and then you say, I need to add a study. So in this case, I can go and say, well, I need to add a 200 moving average to the chart. So all I have to do is simply click that and I'll have all these three options here. So notice that they're all different colors. So what I can do is that I can right click on this little indicator or we can actually um, right click over here and say, I need to change the indicator size and color. So I can actually just go and say, well, edit, edit this indicator. So I have a 20 and the 50 day moving average. I want this to be uh, a 200 moving average right over here. So all I have to do is make that change here in this period. And then yeah, I can also uh, change the settings to the colors. So for example, I want this to appear in a yellow color so it can really stand out. So in that case, you can see the in the back here, the, the, the uh, moving averages are changing colors um, at the same time. So again, this is a nine, so we're gonna make this to a 200 moving average. Um, and again, you can have a whole different options on what you want that to look like that would easily stand out and make it even easier to read. Um, you can also uh, change the settings, uh, right click on this and you can actually uh, change the thickness of it. So yeah, it's currently size at number one. If I do number four, so you see the, the line just becomes a lot more thicker. So it's easier to read uh, as, it's, uh, as it's more visible um, than previously. So we can do a lot of different options. You can right click on all these indicators and adjust the settings. And um, and then once you have the perfect settings, you can continue to uh, save it and, and then adjust the other areas of chart that you wanted to see. So uh, another option here is that click the view option. Uh, a lot of traders like to see, um, you know, what the quote zone. Um, this is where you can actually see a lot of information with my PNL is. Uh, what am I in long or short? So um, if you don't want to see that, again, you have the option to just not or, uh, you know, uh, show only some part of those information, but this is where if you go back into the settings, you'll be able to see what in the what appears in this quote zone. Um, so outside of the out of these two, uh, another thing that I like to really use on these charts is adding or customizing uh, some of the settings where I can actually see more information on a chart. So for example, in this case, I want to add more um, elements or more uh, things onto the chart. So for example, I want to create a custom chart where I can add more uh, comparison. So in this case, you can see there's an option in edit and secondary series. So this is where I can add other charts to to my primary chart. So in this case, I also want to see what the all the other US dollar crosses are doing. And I can actually quickly, um, quickly uh, select these currency pairs and start to add up to to the chart here. So in this case, I have Aussie um, Aussie dollar. Let's add that to it. Click add. And same thing, you can do a same exercise and say, I want to see what the dollar versus the yen doing. I also want to add, let's say, Kiwi dollar, pound dollar, and so on. And once we have this, again, we can click on OK. And this is where it actually creates this custom chart for me. And in, in this quote panel, I'll be able to see, okay, what are these currencies doing? What's the percentage change? And then again, which one is actually upperforming and which one is underperforming? And I, by just looking at this chart, you'll be able to see, okay, well, um, I have uh, one currency that's more weaker than the other, uh, but you can actually customize this by having these more visual charts uh, in front of your screen. So again, same thing, click edit, you go to the secondary series, and this is where you actually get to select all that. And of course, we can have very fewer options available because we just want to focus on one thing at a time. For example, in this case, I wanna see how it's uh, correlating to the equity markets. So we can just quickly go and add an S&P or an SPX chart and add to your screen. 
So this way we're going to be able to see, okay, what the markets are doing and what's the, uh, what's the currency pair doing. So that way we can have this correlation. Well, as the markets are falling, which means that the dollar is rising. So this is a quick, uh, quick way of just kind of keeping track of that information right on this. And you can actually do the same thing. You can have a chart and add all the yen currency crosses in there. And then that way you'll be able to see, okay, all the yen crosses, uh, what are they doing? Which one is showing more better performance than the other? You can also add some tabs to your chart. So for example, you can create file, add a chart to window, and you can actually have two charts side by side. And again, in this case, um, we can actually have either a similar chart or we can have a totally different chart. So in this case, I want to compare this to, let's say, SXBY. Let's say I want to see what the equity markets are doing and click OK. And right there on the right hand side, you have these two charts side by side. So this way, again, it's easier to keep track of those things. And again, every time you don't want to see that, you click on exit. Uh, the other option that I really like to use, again, not taking away the space from my primary chart is by clicking on edit and also um, clicking on, sorry, clicking on file and clicking on create a new tab. So this way, instead of having multiple uh, charts on the same window, I can create uh, separate tabs for each chart. So for example, I have dollar cad here, dollar yen here, and so on and so forth. That way, everything is just on the tip of this uh, little chart toolbar that you can click on to completely uh, make those uh, changes or have different charts available with different settings. So that's a quick uh, preview for how to customize your TWS chart settings. Um, I would recommend playing around more with your uh, global configuration. You know, same thing, same process. Click on file and settings. You'll be able to play a lot of different options to it. And as soon as you have a good options that you really like, I would recommend uh, clicking file and saving this template. So in that case, if you ever lose a template, you'll be able to just recover that template without having to go through this process all over again. Same thing, you can do that for the chart individually, or you can do that for your Twitter workstation by clicking File and Save Settings As. Thanks for watching. See you in the next uh, tutorial.